What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm bringing you shopping with me again. We're gonna go up to Michigan actually and I'm going with my mother-in-law and we're gonna go to this like outdoor market in Holland. I don't know the name of it but we went two years ago and it's like this outdoor autumnal market where it's just a bunch of small businesses selling like their home decor, their crafts, antiques. I'm sure there's food, so we're gonna do that. And then there's this other store about an hour away. I think it's called The Little Cottage. I'll put the name on the screen here, but we've gone there before and I loved it. They had a lot of like, I don't know if it's necessarily like an antique shop, but it's just filled with home decor and I love it. And I bet we're gonna find a bunch of fall decor today too and support some small businesses. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Let's go shopping together. This is my makeup today, by the way. I did my everyday fall makeup look that I just posted. I will link it right up here in case you wanna check it out. But this is just gonna be my go-to for the season. So Michigan is actually right over the border. It's really not that far, but where we were going specifically is about two to two and a half hours away. So this whole event, I believe was hosted by the found cottage which we actually end up going to after this event um and i have to do a voiceover because they had like really loud music and you couldn't hear anything i was saying so i'm gonna narrate just a little bit and talk about some of these fun things that i saw so these flowers were actually real they don't even look real but they're kind of like dried out uh, and they felt fresh so they were so beautiful and i loved the deep dark purple shades so the theme that i found around this whole market was everybody had some sort or some form of velvet pumpkin we saw hundreds um, and they were all so cute and also different as well also tons of fall foliage i picked up so much fall foliage last fall so i unfortunately didn't need any but there were lots and lots of options I love all of this dark amber glass over here, especially during the fall season. And these plates were so beautiful. I don't really have a lot of room for like tons of china or anything, but these looked so beautiful. And if I did, these would be fall plates that I put out every fall. So this was kind of a mix of harvest fall stuff and Halloween. You know I'm a sucker for ghost things. I love like, I love the cutesy ghost stuff because I don't like to, to decorate like super spooky in October, but in September and October, I love the cozy feels. That's usually my style. So stuff like this, this is the vibes, you know, like, hold on, that's cute. Like, that's as spooky as I want to go. This is my vibe. This is my vibe. I love this. Like, cozy, like, pilgrim vibe. Like, super cute. Ooh, love these candlesticks. I actually just got some black candlesticks um, at Joss and Maine for a super good deal. But those kind of look similar. This is super cute. Love that. adorable love that jack-o-lantern oh i wish that i picked up one of these candles this one i think it was called autumn woods smelled amazing i can't believe i forgot to pick that up this is cute too i don't have anything like this but it goes around a candle that's a vibe very cute oh and these towels i like forgot about this stuff we ended up doing like one round and then that's also super cute. We did one round and we, oh, this too. <laughs> this was so cute. I thought this would have looked so good on my bar area. We did one round and then we thought, okay, after that we'll go back and get some things, but uh, they were closing. So in my head I was like, oh wait, there wasn't anything. I don't think that there was anything that I wanted. And sure enough, now that I am editing this, I'm realizing there were things that I did want and I forgot. Unfortunately, I missed out, but that's okay. One day I was so mad that it made me cry. Um, I thought these were really creepy and cute. 
if you like a spooky vibe this whole area was very spooky i love spooky decor when it looks vintage and old and almost like your house is actually haunted so like old vintage photos of like random people i love that very is it victorian just that whole vibe I love like that vase thing gorgeous just beautiful Ooh, love some good potpourri super cute love all of this like those old witch boots super cute I mean I know they're not witch boots but they look like witch boots these were all very beautiful loved that vase with the feathers Super cute pumpkins. I also liked the hutch that this was on as well. You're going to see a lot of furniture too, especially once we go to the found cottage. Um, I loved these like vintage paintings as well. Very beautiful. I don't know if they're vintage. They just look very vintagey. Um, but yeah, you're going to see more furniture as we keep going. And once we get to the found cottage store, there's tons of gorgeous furniture to look at. This whole setup was super cute, loved it. This was like more witchy stuff, um, but I liked the vibe of it, super cute. Loved this wreath, so beautiful. love these pumpkins i love like cinderella looking pumpkins that are very like just whimsical looking oh and this this was super cute i already have like a bowl that looks it's definitely not the same but same kind of vibe um but i thought that was so cute this whole area was probably my favorite of the whole entire event i loved these lamps i loved this potpourri display i loved this vanity how gorgeous like if i lived back in the day i would have loved a vanity like that to get ready at it's so beautiful oh and this area too i really liked i just liked the way that it was displayed it's cool how like a you can have beautiful things but the way that it's set up really does draw you in and grab your attention i just loved the setup of this whole area it looked so so beautiful and it was almost like less cluttered so i could see things a lot easier like that man like <laughs> stuff like that can add to like a spooky vibe um just because it's an old vintage photo <laughs> more fall stuff i just loved the whole feel the whole place was just decked out in fall it was so cozy so i grew up going to holland all the time so i had to go to the ottawa general store down by the beach and get some hudsonville ice cream this is my favorite and i'm glad i stopped in because apparently they knocked down the store and they're going to rebuild it so i'm glad i got ice cream one last time before they did that so then we went to the found cottage and this you guys if you are in michigan it's between holland and grand rapids you have to stop in there it is stunning so this picture frame just has tugged on my heartstrings i am going up there tomorrow to go grab this i can't believe i left the store without it they were closing in 15 minutes i felt rushed i felt pressured so i didn't buy it but i'm gonna have to go back up and get it actually not have to well i do have to because i ordered it over the phone i'm going back and getting that photo it's stunning um everything in this store is so beautiful and there's so much of it that you need you need a solid hour in here just to be able to see everything i think so i hope this video is somewhat helpful i think that this place is actually pretty popular so if you if you've heard of it and you've been wanting to go check it out here's a little look-see but it's just a mix of decor furniture there's some clothes there's like little boutique like areas in each area with like different sellers and stuff but i just love the whole vibe like this hutch is so beautiful loved this piano and then when i opened it i realized it was very old like this would be just for display purposes 
um, but stunning. I loved the white with the chipped paint. Everything was just so beautiful and it's just so much fun to look at. love this painting so beautiful this whole display is stunning i loved all of this and then these flannels i actually picked up one um but these were a good price they were like amazon pricing but better quality because i feel like the amazon ones are very very thin this is the one i ended up picking up and i thought it would be really cute just thrown over like leggings and a tank top um so you just never know what you're gonna find here lots of random super cute stuff Also very unique pieces, like those lights, very unique. This is probably one of my favorite areas. I wish that this was a little bit bigger. I've been wanting a different one because the one that we have is very porous, so I feel like or guacamole gets like stuck in it and stuff. Um, but that was 50 bucks for something really small. If it was twice as large, I would totally have gotten it, but yeah. That's the other thing, pricing, you just never know. Some things are gonna be a little bit more and some things are gonna be like like decent. So it's, it's worth looking at. I really liked this bread box, by the way. That is a vibe. I might pick that up tomorrow when I go, depending on the price. I also really loved these towels, um, but for me that was a little bit more summery, but very, very beautiful. This was another favorite section of mine. It just looked like a vintage old cozy library i love that map i'm looking for a map just like that a little bit smaller but of solely alaska i love this whole room was a whole vibe loved this little ghost lantern i might pick that up tomorrow when i go super cute and yeah, just tons of beautiful vases, beautiful foliage, love the mirrors, love the pictures. Also have really good candles here. Just the whole place is a whole vibe. So if you ever go check it out, let me know because it's definitely worth stopping in if you live in the Michigan area or Northwest Indiana area, Chicagoland area, it's worth the drive. And the last thing that I saw here was this book. It's just like a notebook and it reminded me of the Hocus Pocus book a little bit just because it was like old and well, I don't even know if it was old. I think it's just meant to look old, but it was super cute. 
So that completes everything for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming along shopping with us. I love going up to Michigan. We actually, growing up, went to Holland all the time because my grandparents had a place up there. Um, so now that they have passed, we don't really go up there that often, but when I do, it gives me all of like the warm fuzzies and nostalgic feels. So I love going up and visiting in Michigan. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing the shopping and seeing the decor. I really appreciate you watching. If you want more videos like this, let me know and I will see you soon. Bye.